guys, it's Sarah, and today I am drinking my coffee out of my Florida mug, and I'm going to be talking about a Florida book. I'm going to be doing a review on this book, which is called Best State Ever, and this is written by Dave Barry. And this book what actually just came out in paperback on September 5th, and I requested this from Putnam, and they kindly sent a copy my way. This book is an adult nonfiction, and it is written by Dave Barry, who is both a comedian and an author. I saw this book on the SSF 180 channel and it was sent to him as a review book. And as soon as I saw it, I immediately stopped the video and I went and I found out all the information on the publisher and everything and found out that it was Putnam, who I've worked with very closely before. So I sent an email and asked if they were still sending out review copies, if they wouldn't mind sending one my way. Because you may know, or you may not know, I'm not sure how often I've shared this, but I am a native Floridian. We do live in New Mexico right now because my husband is in the military, but we are both from Florida. So as soon as I saw this, I knew I wanted to get my hands on it because not only have I read and loved Dave Barry in the past, but it's about Florida, so I have to read it. So Dave Barry is um, a best-selling author, and he also writes a column for the Miami Herald, which he has written for many, many years, and he's actually won a Pulitzer Prize for that column. And he is a comedian, so a lot of his stuff is very funny, and he pokes fun at a lot of things, and some of it's very satirical. And you can just you can tell, you know, when he's embellishing things or not. And um, when I just found out he was writing about Florida, it was just right up my alley. So. The state of Florida is very famously kind of made fun of by the rest of the country. <laughs> and that is because there's a lot of kind of crazy news stories that happen and just some really strange things happening in that state. And I get it. I lived there and um, can't wait to go back. But it definitely has an eclectic cast of characters who live down there. But something that's really funny that he points out is that a lot of the people who made these news stories were not actually native Floridians. They were from other places and they just decided to move down there. So is it always Floridians or is it newer Floridians? Something to ponder. So Dave goes on kind of a little mission to visit some of the lesser known attractions kind of in the central southern Florida area and just to kind of reveal some of his little quirks and charms. And some of the places that he visits includes the very famous retirement community, which is called The Villages, which is a very exclusive retirement community. It's practically its own little world. He also goes to an alligator park called Gatorland. And there's tons of alligator parks, obviously, in the state of Florida because there's alligators everywhere. Alligators are not as exciting as some people think. So they kind of just lay around most of the time and do nothing. Don't get me wrong, they're dangerous creatures. But if you're not touching them, they're not touching you. And he also goes to a park in a place called uh, Wikiwashi which I have actually driven through quite a few times. My husband lives near there, or his family lives near there. And um, they actually have a live mermaid show. I'm not kidding. Those are just three examples. There's quite a few places that he goes and visits, and um, they were all very unique, and it was just the way that he portrayed them was really funny. This book gave me a lot of nostalgia about the state of Florida, and since my husband is from the Tampa area, he was born and grew up there. We've been there quite a few times, obviously, visiting family and all that good stuff, and I actually recognized quite a few places that he talked about because he was going up and down Route 19 a lot, which goes right through my husband's hometown, so I've driven on that road quite a bit, and they actually had a picture in here of a really large pink concrete dinosaur that I've driven by many times. And when I saw the picture, I showed it to my husband. I was like, look, it's the dinosaur. And he was like, oh my gosh, because he grew up seeing that dinosaur. So that was really cool. So this book had me not only laughing out loud, but I was actually nodding along with a lot of what he was saying because I understood it as a Floridian myself. And it was just, it was just really nostalgic. And I think I read it at a really good time because I read it this past week when Hurricane Irma was going across the state of Florida. So I was literally just watching this hurricane 
demolish my state and I can't do anything from here. I mean, what could I do against a hurricane anyway, I guess. But, you know, I just did a lot of praying this week for my state. So being able to read this during that week really helped me kind of take my mind off of that and just give me happy thoughts about Florida versus, you know, watching all this destruction happen. It was kind of a good little brain break for that. So I was laughing, I was nodding, and I was remembering a lot of these news stories he talked about when they came out and I was cringing appropriately. So overall, I gave this book four stars. It's a great little tribute to the state of Florida, and it's a short, quick, fun little read. If you're from Florida, I think you really should read this book because I think you would probably have the same types of feelings that I do about it. And if you have never been to Florida, pick it up anyway. It might make you want to go. And um, yeah, I just, I love the state of Florida. It's definitely home for us, and we plan to move there when we retire, and we are really excited about it. So um Every chance that we can, we always head back home so that we can just be there and it feels like home to us for sure. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for me today. So if you are interested in this book, I will leave the Amazon link down below. And again, thank you so much, Putnam, for granting my request to receive and review this book because I absolutely adored it. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye.